Well, hello friends. We're going to do a demonstration on a 3D bath bomb mold that we just printed ourselves a couple of days ago. We just got in our brand new Pressa 3D printer and we took it for a test drive the other day. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's awful. Um, so anyway, so we made a marshmallow peep mold. This is our very first mold we've ever made. Um, so we're going to take this for a test run today. This consists of a plate, an outer shell, and a plunger with a little design for his eyes and his nose. So we're just going to get right to this and see how this works. I'm so excited. This is our very first mold that we've made ourselves. So let's just start filling like we normally do. By the way, this is purple. As you can see, it's a really dark purple. It's a little darker than, than I wanted it to be, but I've already done like a tub test on it and it's not staining, so that's good. Um, anyways, if you guys want to know how to achieve a purple like this, use two parts red to one part blue. Um, for instance, I used red 27 lake and blue number one dye. So two to one on that. Okay, it's not going to be as dark as this. I went a little bit more on that. I did, I think I did three to two. Uh, I did three teaspoons of red 27 and I did two dashes of blue number one. All right, let's get to uh, filling this mold, shall we? Give it a little shake just like we always do. So exciting to see how this comes out. I haven't even tested this. This is it. This is our first test of this right now with you guys all right so we've got that all filled up to the top and we're going to take our plunger with our design face down and we're going to stick it on top of there and just give it some pushes right now currently over at our home we are printing a 3d carrot mold that's also going to be for easter that is our second mold that we have ever printed all right just like normal we're going to give it some taps around the outside shell and some taps on the top of the plunger i'm going to give a few extra taps right in the middle here where his two eyeballs and his little nose are going to be because i really want those details to come out Right, turn it over and like I said you get you guys can already see there's like a little gap in between the shell and the plate like I've said in other videos you usually don't need to tap the top part of the plate to get that off there's just not a need to to do that sometimes but but not usually that should just come straight up and off like it just did okay oh my gosh I'm so excited you guys there's a little dot that I didn't blend the color in quite enough, but that's okay. So as usual, fingers underneath and thumbs on top. We're going to push up and get this little bunny on out of here. Oh my goodness, the cuteness. Okay, we have our cardboard. We're going to place that on the top and turn it over. And then our plunger should lift straight up. If there's any resistance, give it some gentle taps. But that just lifted straight up and just tap down. If you mess up the little holes where his, you know, his face is supposed to be, just go ahead and give a couple little taps with your finger and that'll take care of that. But look at this. Look at the cuteness with the little marshmallow peep and filled all the way up to the top. That's about how thick you can expect. That is cute as hell. Let's just do one more. I'm so excited, you guys using my own 3d mold for the first time that i made well i didn't make it let's be real mr soap chef made this i did not however i'm the one who got the files <laughs> i tracked down where to get files so i did that part but he made it so all right once again we're going to take our plunger face down right up on top of there and give it some pushes Get this other little bunny off of my cardboard here. There we go. I can use that again. Yeah, if you guys just do the two to one ratio with the red and the blue, you'll get like a light lavender color. This is a dark purple. I wanted it to be dark. It's a little bit too dark, but that's okay. 
and it's scented with huckleberry, which is a really nice grape scent. All right, let's turn him over and take off that plate. I did that too quick, you guys, see? I'm rushing and I'm not taking my time. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, cardboard, turn it over and lift up straight up. Okay, and there we go with our marshmallow peep with the 3D bath bomb mold that we created ourselves. Oh my gosh, so exciting, you guys. We're gonna come back tomorrow and we're going to do the float test and see uh, how well this holds up in water. Okay, see you guys in a few seconds for you tomorrow for me, okay? Okie dokie then, who wants to take this little peep bunny for a test run here? I'm gonna use this one because I jacked up his nose and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big hole right there. I just I took it off way too quick yesterday when I was making these. But let's see how they perform. I mean, it, my bath bomb recipe is my bath bomb recipe. You know, it, I mean, it doesn't change. But uh, let's just see what happens with this little guy. Ready? Here we go. Now, before I get all the way down in there, there's not going to be any rainbow color shooting out of his, you know, anywhere, really. It's just one color. There's going to be no fantastic anything. He's a sinker, a stinker and a sinker. Wow, look at this color though. Oh wow, this is really, I, I always forget because I don't take baths all that often, but I always forget just how luxurious this feels. It's so freaking creamy, you guys, it's ridiculous. And look at the foam. Also, let's see if this is gonna stain my skin, okay? Because we do add polysorbate Let's let's just leave our hand down in here for a little bit and we'll see if this is going to stain our skin because we don't want that. Nope. It's just the foam. There's no staining. Look at him go. Wee! Here's some of the blue coming out. Again, there's no end bends in here. But he's, he's doing nicely, look at him go. My recipe has a really great um, ratio of your citric acid to your foaming agents. I use, I don't do the normal um, two to one ratio with the baking soda and the citric. I do more citric than that because I always use the trifecta of surfactants. And so those, as we all know, are bubble killers. You know, so if I was to just have a, a really high percentage of, you know, the, my powdered surfactants and I'll get a nice foam all over my bathtub, which is great, but then there's not going to be any fizz. Like this is going and going and going. There's still a lot. This is going to take a long time. My round bath bombs usually last anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes per round bath bomb. But look at how nice and creamy this is. Now, obviously, if the kids are going to be picking this up in their hand, they're going to have, you know, quite a bit of discoloration on their hands from this foam. Well, let's just see what happens. Let's rub this in, actually. Okay, so we can see if that's purple foam. But if we go back down in here, I'm just going to leave our hands in here. We're going to pick them up. Let's see if this stains our skin. Nope. No purple staining. And look at our little bunny. Wee. All right, you guys, we're not going to sit here all day long and watch him do his thing, but look at the water. Look at how beautiful purple this water is. That's gorgeous. That is a beautiful color. Beautiful. And at first when I was making these, I was like, yeah, that's too dark. I don't, I don't want it that dark. 
And of course, we're always afraid of, you know, however dark we make our bombs, you know, it can tend to discolor your skin and stain your skin while you're sitting in here. But that's why you have to use that polysorbate. Also, we don't want any ring. Like you can't really see anything, but we don't want any ring. Let's put this up a little bit. We don't want any ring around the bathtub. So there is no colored ring. You can see there's no colored ring for us to have to clean up later. You know, as a parent, I don't, I don't want to have to freaking clean the tub after my kid's done having a good time. But this is beautiful, nice, creamy, silky, satin water. The color is beautiful. This little bomb is still going nuts. So look at this. This is going to be going for a while. I can rub this into my skin, rinse it off. There's no discoloration left on my skin. All right, I'm going to call this a success, you guys. He's going to continue to do his little thing. I'm going to continue to do my thing. I have to plan out my day. So we'll get back together soon, you guys. Until we do, be kind, stay humble, and take care of yourselves, okay? We'll see you soon.